Can I ask a question, Macho Man? More questions. I'm sorry about that. Halloween's a couple days away, just around the corner, and I figured that I should probably do something Halloween related, and that involves carving pumpkins. Now, I'll just get right in the basics. You're gonna need a lot of tools, maybe some mood lighting. Is it spooky enough in here? All right, let's start simple. You should probably take a marker and draw out basically what you're gonna wanna carve out. So, this is what I'm working with. Big boy. Sticker said, uh, I can't remember what the sticker said, so you're gonna have to suck up. So, I'm just gonna take a second to carve this out. Alright. Yeah, it's not that good of a joke. Now, you're gonna want it, since it's Halloween, you wanna make it as spooky as possible. Now, the middle finger is not exactly spooky, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm going to make it into the scariest possible thing that I can think of, and then uh, see what you guys think. My unfinished student loans. The cancer of the internet, the Huffington Post. And probably the scariest thing of all, my first Facebook picture. When I first activated my Facebook way back in middle school. You're going to want to cut out the top. Do it, kind of concave it in so uh, you can pull it off. It's a lid. You can wear it as a hat if you want to. Um, we'll start at the top. You're gonna to wanna to be really gentle with this. Just like that, we got that little uh, hemorrhoid. Okay, when you go to light the candle, you don't want any of that dangling down because you'll probably burn down. You're gonna to wanna to dig out the insides of this. Now, you should only find pumpkin guts. So yeah, so far we just have seeds. Now, it might feel a little grimy in there, um, but that's that's okay. Um, like, uh, I just found Rick Grimes. Well, he's dead. Never know what might be in there. All right, there's the inside of the pumpkin. Nice and clean. I'm gonna go for the standard face. So what you're gonna wanna do is get, uh, get your knife that you used earlier. Now, I have a majority of knives, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try carving this both both eyes at the same time because you got to keep it a, a little in, a little interesting <sighs> It's a lot harder than I thought it would be so we'll switch back down to, to just uh, to just one knife now I'll show you once you get the lines cut in you should be able to just ah yeah there we are okay so that's still not working so maybe I just have to push, push. Push it out. Oh, look, perfect. A perfect eye. Hey, now that we have the eyes, um, um, you're, you're going to want to cut the nose in. Uh, because I drew a middle finger, this is going it's, to, it's, it's going to be a little tough. I'll just, I'll just do a triangle and we'll just try to ignore the lines that I drew. Hey, I've used the blue marker. That looks pretty black. Hey. No, I have a nose. We're gonna move on to the mouth, which is the difficult part. Now, when you do a mouth, you wanna add sharp teeth because it's a spooky pumpkin. I'll do a top row. No, I'll do a bottom lip with no teeth. Uh, Cause maybe, maybe this pumpkin has an overbite. Like I have a bit of an overbite. So I'm gonna do an overbite like the pump on the pumpkin. It's gonna be a self portrait. And I think it's time to pull out. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay. All right. And uh, now we uh, wipe down the face. Put the lid back on. Turn off the light. Oh, oh, how scary. Oh, how scary. How spooky the light makes it so scary looking. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, maybe share it. That would probably help a lot, too. Um, say goodbye.